So, you think you are ready to create that revolution in your organization? Do you have that hip pocket skill that set you aside from the rest? Amplify that and put it into action. My career has taken me across the world, working at healthcare and medical devices, namely Johnson & Johnson, Elcon, and now Takeda. I have been interested in solving constraints within the organization. It is important to be inquisitive, to understand what the problem is before offering a solution. Having insatiable curiosity is an imperative. Taking every problem as an idea problem. Practicing empathy to understand what is it to be like in someone else's shoes has me to recall an experience visiting the largest fish market in Seoul, Korea, named Noryanjin Fish Market. Our purpose was to observe and see how sellers and buyers go back and forth in a bidding war. My Korean team and Johnson & Johnson and I were working on a problem statement. How might we celebrate risk-taking and failures in corporate setting? The fish market has taught us to be present, to listen, and to observe at that moment. Despite the bustling noises and the smell of sea creatures, we identified ideas and insight from observing the fish market. Eventually, we did some brainstorming to incorporate only the best ideas. Each team member was given the opportunity to identify what they think are their best ideas and provide why they chose that so and the reason behind it when i reflect on that particular scenario it provided a psychological safe place for everyone to give their best idea or ideas it also provided some courage for each one to say, you know what, my idea sucks, or my idea is not worth it. We created a safe space for our team members to thrive in a safe environment. Practicing empathy is going beyond the user and treating your stakeholders with the same respect and curiosity as the users. It is easier to navigate constraints when you have your stakeholders or champions cheering you on. Without the support of the broader ecosystem of stakeholders, our ideas can often not come to fruition. Constraints and limitations that are inherent in our projects, examples are resources, funding, time, budgets. Yes, we are all familiar about budget cuts. I recall working at Alcon, previously Novartis, an ophthalmology company in R&D. I was approached by a product manager asking for help. I remember him saying, I heard you are a subject matter expert on design thinking. Can you help me facilitate a workshop around our problem statement? Of course, my answer was yes. So we both wrote a problem statement on how might we optimize patient loyalty and retention versus a one-time transaction. We brought in experts from functions like sales and marketing, R&D, digital innovation, communication, and we spent half a day identifying ideas to address the problem statement. In 20 minutes, they produce 117 ideas. Yes, 
117 ideas. It's like six ideas per minute and identified three high value projects that the department got into rapid development. Learning from failures and limitations in creating something new taught me to be vulnerable. So I would say it's so important to have a community and a support system that you can always go back to, like a trusted, trusted community that can validate and recharge your confidence. Curating a TEDx event in Takeda took me about seven pitches before I got a yes. Keep talking about the idea. Last September 12, 2022, Takeda became part of innovative companies like Johnson & Johnson, Alcon, Novartis, Google, and many more that provides a platform to discover ideas worth spreading. Uncover your gifts. While so much has been decided for us, like who our parents are, where we're going to be born, there is still so much to discover and determine. Cultivate that. Find that gifts or gift and unlock the possibilities.